a free of who could be in Smash Bros. And yes, we're going to talk about, you know, one of the most annoyingly requested characters. And that's Gino. Of course, we're going to, you know, talk about this thing eventually. Because once Smash 6 hype season comes around, like, you know, once it comes around, once Nintendo's X console gets announced, you're going to see people saying, who would want to be seen in Smash 6? And they're always going to be playing freaking Xeno. But Xeno is extremely unlikely to make it in Smash 6. Okay? Extremely unlikely. He missed the cut a total of three times. Okay? And people say, but a character's relevance isn't that important. Okay? A character's relevance isn't that important. Okay? You know, we're we going over all the things that are against Geno. Okay? One, Square Enix owns Geno. Yes, Nintendo does not have the rights to Geno and Super Mario RPG, Resident of the Seven Stars. Okay? Geno is not owned by Nintendo. Geno is owned by Square Enix, okay? And people about Square Enix put characters in Smash Bros. They put Sora, they put Crowd, they put Sephiroth in Smash Bros. Why can't they put Zeno? I also put Hero in Smash Bros. But that was probably going to be inevitably going to happen, considering how important Dragon Quest is to Japan, okay? And you can even look at every Super Nintendo game that's on there, and I do not think my RPG is on the list, okay, of games they put on the Super Nintendo, okay, they even put freaking Earthbound, okay, and people were oh, Earthbound will never get released because of the licensing problems of Earthbound music, okay, but even Earthbound, Nintendo Mads get Earthbound on there, okay, but not Super Mario RPG Resident Evil 7 Styles, which is a big strike against Xeno, because not even Nintendo put the effort to put the Geno's game on Nintendo Switch Online. So newer generations can know who Geno is, can enjoy how great Geno is. Okay, and worst of all, Geno hasn't appeared in a game since Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, and that was because he was a cameo, and that's not a ca- and that's not counting Smash Bros. B costumes, okay, or Smash Bros. Spirits. Okay, that's not counting that. Geno has not made has only made one playable appearance, okay, in my RPG Resident Evil Seven Stars, okay. He has only been in that one game as a playable appearance, okay. And people are like that doesn't matter. They put Ice Climbers, they put Duck Hunt, and all these characters in Smash Bros, okay. But the difference between those characters is that Nintendo owns the rights to those characters, okay. If it was but Banzo Kazooie is also irrelevant, but even then Banzo Kazooie can be played on Intel Switch Online, can be played on the Xbox as well. You know, newer people can experience Banzo Kazooie. Same thing with King K. War. Okay, you can still play the old Donkey Kong Country games on Intel Switch Online. You can still play, you know, those games on there. And also, K.K. Wool was the main villain of the original Donkey Kong Country series. And the title still owes the rights to K.K. Wool. The title does not owe the rights to Zeno. Okay. And why would Nintendo go out of the way over all these legal things just to get one character that appeared in one game in Super Smash Bros? This is so ridiculous. Okay. The only pros Zeno really has is he could have a unique moveset. Okay. Again, Sakurai said that any character can be a Smash Bros if they if he can think of a unique moveset for him. But even then, Zeno, why would they go out of your effort to put Zeno in Smash Bros? There's much more interesting characters in the Mario universe you can put in Smash Bros. You can put Farfall in Smash Bros. Farfall would be pretty interesting as well. While Weezy would have a more unique moveset than Zeno does. Okay. As well, you can even add freaking Toad in Smash Bros. You can even add freaking Goomba in Smash Bros. Okay, a freaking Goomba. Okay, a freaking Goomba would make a better playable character, but probably make a more interesting moveset than Zeno. Okay, and that's, you know, pretty funny. Okay, heck, again, they'll probably add a generic Koopa Troopa before they add freaking Zeno in Smash Bros. Okay, that's how unimportant Zeno is to the Mario franchise. Okay, you know, kind of like it was that, you know, that one guy who said the, 
Zeno would be in the origami king. Oh yeah, King Al would have a more interesting moveset than, you know, Zeno. And Paper Mario is not even in Smash Bros. yet. Peck, Paper Mario would have a more interesting moveset than Zeno, because he could use his hammer as well. But yeah, Zeno is most likely not going to be in Smash Bros. 6. Okay, Magua would be in the middle. Okay, and well, we do be higher because he's actually an important character to the Mario series. Actually, at least way more important than Zeno. Okay, you know, at least Waluigi is being put in new games. Like in my, you know, as well. Because Nintendo knows how popular Waluigi is. Okay, Nintendo knows that fans want Zeno. And have still not included Zeno in any new games. Heck, they scrubbed Zeno's cameo in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Plus, you know, I think it was like Bowser's Minions or something. And they got rid of... Of Zeno in that one mini game, so not even Nintendo wants to keep Zeno around, okay? And Zeno is most likely not going to be in Super Smash Bros. So Zeno, goodbye. But yeah, can't wait for the death threats that Zeno fans put when Sephiroth was announced. Kind of like how you know Sakurai got you know the death threats from the Wild Weezy fans, even Wild Weezy fans saying Wild Weezy, you know. Mm, to him and Zeno fans doing it by you know saying threats on 4chan which do not make anything better so yeah Zeno is most likely not gonna be in Smash 6 goodbye